hello. Look who's here. This is Princess Amazing Grace. Is she gorgeous, huh? She is a miniature apricot poodle. I love you too. And she's just getting used to us and getting used to this house and everything. She just arrived here last night. We went up to DeLand, which is by Daytona Beach, and picked her up. And she's a little nervous. This is her first time on camera. She's a little nervous, but you're going to see a lot of her. And we've got her on Facebook and everything, too. But she is just gorgeous. And she's really sweet. And she's a lover. She is a lover. Yes, she is. So I wanted to show her to everybody. And, uh, you know, we lost our, our baby, Muffy. Uh, about four weeks ago, she went to be with the Lord. And we just... You know, these pets bring so much joy into a house. And she has already filled a vacuum in our house, just being here since yesterday evening. So we're just, we just praise God for her, and, and we just bless her in Jesus' name. And I declare that she is a smart dog and a good dog, and she will be the perfect dog for us. And she's a wonderful dog, and she will have no health problems in Jesus' name, amen. I bless you, Gracie. I say the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. You can bless your pets. Amen. You can bless your pets. Hey, if you need prayers answered today, please give me a call. Because we will get your prayers answered for you. Amen. We always do that. Also... When you make donations today, the first day of the new month, first day of April, or May, can you believe it? This is May Day. Uh, when you make donations, please call me because I want to speak the word-for-word -word blessing over you that God gave us to speak. And he said, when you speak this blessing, I will bless them. So know that when I speak that blessing over you and over your offering, you are blessed. And... Uh, Please call me if you need any, any prayers answered. Hey, today I want to talk to you about how I help people with their faith to receive from God. How many of you know that without faith, it's impossible to please God? In other words, without faith, you get nothing from God. All this is from our book, Faith, which is available at Amazon. This book, Faith. This is a wonderful book. It's the most, it's the easiest to read, most comprehensive book ever written about faith. And I'm kind of keeping an eye on Gracie over there because she's exploring. She wants to see what's going on. So, but this is the most comprehensive book and easy to read. It's not a big book, but I'll tell you what it will do. It will increase your faith. But I want to talk to you about how I use my faith to help people receive. It takes faith to receive from God. God does nothing for nobody, anytime, ever, under any circumstances, with no exceptions, unless faith is involved. He never, ever picks out people to bless. He never, ever picks out people to heal. He never, ever picks out people to increase finances for. He never, ever picks out anybody for salvation. Although he has picked us all out. We are all predestined for salvation, but that doesn't mean we're all saved. We're all predestined to live in health. That doesn't mean everybody lives in health. We're all predestined to live in abundance. Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. We're supposed to live in abundance. That doesn't mean everybody does. It takes faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. Jesus said, you, he said, receive your sight. Receive according to your faith. You're going to receive according to your faith. And if your faith level is not high enough, you're not going to receive from God. But you can get help for your faith. You can get help for your faith. All you have to do is find somebody who has the faith for what you want or need. 
somebody who will use <coughs> who will use their faith to get you what you need. Amen. Now, in this book is a is a chapter called "Faith Is Transferable," and that's what this uh, message comes out of. Is that chapter? Faith is transferable. You can take your faith and use it to help somebody else. I do this every day, all day long. <clears throat> People call me and say, Pastor Jim, I need to use your faith. I say, okay. I am always ready, willing, and able to use my faith to get people healed. To use my faith to get people to increase their finances. I can't use my faith for your salvation. Salvation is an individual thing. You must believe that Jesus is risen from the dead and receive him into your heart yourself. But I can sure help you with other things. Amen? Now, I want to show you a case. We talk about this case all the time. Chapter 1 of 1 Samuel. Hannah was in the temple praying. Was too old to have a baby. Eli, the priest, said, Go in peace. The God of Israel give you what you want. You got to ask yourself, did that man, a priest, an ordinary human being, he was nothing special. He was a priest. I don't think pastors are anything special. They're called of God, of course. But so everybody else is called of God for something too. What you're called of God for, to do is every bit as important as what your pastor's called for. Amen. God doesn't, God gives everybody an important assignment. You may be called to raise your children. And believe me, that's every bit as important as what your pastor's called to do. Don't ever sell yourself short. What you do is very important in the kingdom of God. Amen. You may be called to clean houses. You may be called to fix cars. You may be called to sell cars. You may be called to, to work with children. You may be well, to, to be a teacher. Whatever you're called to do, it's just as important as anybody else. Amen. Eli was a pastor, a priest. He was an ordinary person. An ordinary person. But he spoke over Hannah. And he said, the God of Israel... Grant you your petition that you have asked of him. Did he have the authority to do that? Apparently so. Because she got her prayer answered. Amen? He must have had the authority to do that. Listen to me. <clears throat> when you call me and you ask me to help you, you are automatically giving me the authority to speak into your life. Be careful who speaks into your life. Amen? There's a lady going around here wanting to speak over everybody. Wanting to give them words from the Lord. Rur, 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 thus saith the Lord. And wanting to sit, that She's sick and broke. Her life's a mess. Be careful who is speaking into your life. Be careful who is imparting into your life. Make sure the person who is imparting into your life or speaking over your life is living a good life, is living in abundance, is living a healthy life. Amen. Amen. That's true. It's it's. You know, I've seen people so sick and broke with their lives, so screwed up, and they want to minister to other people? Hello? No, no. No, no. You be careful who is speaking over your life. Find somebody whose faith you can use. People literally use my faith. They say, Pastor Jim, I need to use your faith, and they get what they need. Because my faith will work for them. The way it works is through the prayer of agreement. Jesus himself said, Where two of you are agreed 
as touching anything, it shall be done for them by my Father which is in heaven. When you and I agree in prayer, God will do it if one of us has faith. But here's the key. So many times, I've heard so many say, people walk up to somebody and go, will you agree with me in prayer? They go, sure. Run, 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 run. And then off they go. Nothing happens. The reason is because neither one of them have any faith. The person who is agreeing with you in prayer must have faith for what you need or you ain't going to get it. Must have faith. If you're going to use somebody's faith for something, make sure they got the faith. Make sure they can pray the prayer of faith with you, in agreement with you, and God will give it to you every single time. I don't know how many people I prayed with yesterday, literally all day long, up until 10, 11 o'clock at night. People call me. I agree with them in prayer. And God gives them what they need because I'm the one with the faith. I just, I don't know what happened, but somewhere along the line, I just acquired this faith to pray for people. And that's why they get their prayers answered. I just, I just know when I'm praying with somebody that God is going to give it to them. And I'm telling you what, it literally happens all the time. People will call me when they're in the middle of, of, of business deals. Pastor Jim, there's something going on in that room. This deal is going sideways. I say, in the name of Jesus, I bind the devil in that deal. They go back in and close the deal. Huh? I can't tell you how many times I've had that happen. Pastor Jim, I got payroll due tomorrow and I can't make my payments. Guy did that. Huge company. Could not make his payroll. The pastor Jim, I'm going broke. I can't make my payroll. On and on and on. It called me 10 times in one evening. Finally, I said to him, listen to me. Do you believe I can do this? The guy stopped. He said, yes. I said, then shut up. And let me have it. The next morning, Somebody walked into his office, put in a huge order, and gave him a check for it right on the spot. Put his company back in the black. That order was so huge. Got his payroll made. Got, got his payroll made for months with that order. Got him back on his feet. He let me have it. Believe me, it was not his faith that did it. That one was my faith. Amen? Now, a lot of you people out there have faith. You have a lot of faith. Sometimes you just need a little boost in your faith. If that's the case, I'll give you a little boost in your faith. But whatever the gap is, I will fill it for you in faith. I'll fill up the faith gap for you. We'll get your prayers answered. We do this all the time. Get you what you want. Get you what you need. Amen. Hey, I'm out of time. Please share this video with everybody you know. I want everybody to receive from God. I want everybody to live an abundant life. I want everybody to live in the blessing of God and live healthy. And that can happen. Amen. That's how God intended for us to live. God said, I will give you days of heaven upon the earth. There's no sickness, no poverty in heaven. He wants us to have days of heaven upon the earth. Please share this video. Tell everybody you know you got to watch these videos. If you're watching these videos, then you have access to me. The only thing I require of my partners is that you watch the videos. You watch these videos and you will get your prayers answered because I'll make sure of it. Amen. Hey, don't forget when you make offerings and donations to this ministry today to help us send this message around the world and to... Uh, give away all these books. We send out thousands of free books. When you help us do that today, you call me because I want to speak a blessing over you.